In today's guest show, I'm going to show you my current main deck in Clash Rounds. It's absolutely incredible. 2.9 Elixir Piggy stack, but with the Queen, which is currently the highest ranked Roadhog stack in Clash Royale right now. In case you guys don't want to miss any Clash Royale content just like that, make sure to subscribe and also make sure to use creator code more than shop. Also, leave a fat like on this video. Now, it's time to jump to the games against the best players in the world and show you my new main deck in Clash Royale. So, guys, here we go to the first game where this trainer at. And in this deck, you guys know it's one of the most best creative stacks of all time in the game. Especially after the release of Champions. Recently, I actually showed this deck uh, to you guys with the Goblin side in there, but people switched back to Queen. It's interesting because I'm not really sure why, but Queen. I feel like it's such a good card. It just like kind of felt the matter because Goblin was so broken, but recently, after the Goblin nerf, it just feels like, okay, it's actually a really, really. I would say it was always a really good card, right? But but just kind of got overshadowed by Frankie there in the matter because you guys know how broken it actually was. Everybody was using it. It was so consistent, so good. It just overall the better choice, I feel like, in every single deck. But after the recent nerf, I would still say it's the best card in the game. But I feel like there's now the possibility to also play other cards. So I'm just going to go for my Royal Hawks there again. Let's see. Is he actually able to get back to another cannon in time? Yeah, he is. But maybe the Skulls are going to be able to kill his Skulls. No. Not just yet, but my Royal Hawk on the left hand side might get some decent amount of chip. Which is pretty nice. And this means I can just go my Arch Queen back. He might just take the Q. I think this would actually be uh, the, the smartest play. Or he's just gonna go for his own Frankie in the back. Okay. Um, I might just go for my Earthquake there. Yeah, we're just gonna both cycling one Earthquake. I'm just gonna go for my Ice Will there. Let's see what it's gonna do next. I'm just gonna pop the ability. Just gonna raise his evil skulls, which I think is pretty nice. I'm just gonna go for my lock. They're just trying to kill that almost at least. And I'm just gonna go for my Royal Delivery there. Also gonna go for my cannon. And it should be a really nice defense. And we shouldn't really worry too much about that. That's really, 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 really hard. I'm um, Adman, if you guys don't know, he's also a German pro. One of the best German players, actually. I think he also got like some global tournament top one finishes. So he's not too bad, guys. He's not too bad. I'm just gonna go for my cannon like this. Cannon's gonna come down and hopefully defense is okay. Are we gonna be able to kill the cracker? Yeah, we do. We do. We do. We do. We do. Okay, I'm just gonna go once again for my Royal Hawks. I should kind of have him like in my cycle because he doesn't have the free cut cycle. So I'm just gonna go for a pre EQ there. And he's gonna go Evil Skeletons, which are gonna be able to defend this really well. We're still gonna be able to get one piggy shot on the tower. He's gonna have Evil Cracker now, so we have to be a bit careful about him going for my first Evil Cracker. So I'm just gonna go for my Lock there. Also gonna pop the ability there. Okay, not yet. I think Yoki needs one more. Crazy, like, he kinda wait a lot to cycle this Evil Cracker. I'm just gonna go Earthquake there again. Earthquake does a pretty solid job. I'm just gonna go for my Cannon. He doesn't have enough Elixir for EQ, so. Should be fine defense now. I'm just gonna go for my Ice Bird there. Ice is gonna come down, does a pretty good job over there. I'm just gonna go for my lock now. And now I'm just gonna go for this. I have to go for my earthquake there. I hope the King Tower actuation is gonna be hel uh, helpful to make sure the Hawk is not gonna get any shot in the tower. This is exactly what's gonna happen. And the Piggy gets a small micro shot, which can be part. We got the King Tower activation, we got the damage lead. And now just about being patient. Controlling the game, and this is what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna go for my Hawks there. He goes for his Firecracker and also his can. This is fine, I guess. Cracker is gonna stay on the left hand side. Which of course is gonna be awesome. I'm just gonna go for my lock there. I'm just gonna go for this. He's gonna use his uh, pre earthquake, which is not gonna do anything for him. And now I'm just gonna go for the next set of hoggies. I hope the cracker's gonna die. EQ there. Now I'm just gonna go for my lock there because he has to go for skeletons. Yeah, he goes for his evolved skeletons. So we do get a perfect lock prediction on top of everything. He has to go now for his hog rider. Okay, he's not. So I'm just gonna go skeletons there. I don't want to get like a lucky shot for no reason. I'm just gonna go cannon like this. EQ. He still has to defend this, otherwise the pig is gonna get a shot. Skulls are coming a bit early. Okay, great lock though. But I'm just gonna go for my Archer Queen there. Cannon. Should be a flawless defense. Yeah, that was a bit scratchy, but we did. I'm just gonna go for an XEQ there. I'm just gonna go now for my lock. Yeah, perfect lock there. Ice is gonna come down. I'm just gonna go for next set of uh, Hoggies. Gonna go for this. Just gonna go lock there. Ice build like this. Royal delivery like this. Skeletons. Should be perfect defense there. 
Okay, I'm just gonna go for my boy there, or for my girl there, better to say. I'm just gonna go for my Archer Queen ability. Ice Bit is gonna come down. Ice Bit wasn't optimal, but I think we still should be able to kinda win this game based on EQ. And also, we can just go for a log. It's gonna be close, but at the end, we are gonna take the dub. Easy win at the end. GG's. Well played. Next game up here with this IGO Carlos. I'm just gonna give him a good luck. I'm just gonna go for my sneaky Ice Bit at the bridge. I just love Evolution Ice Bit. Ice Bit is one of my favorite cards in the game. Honestly, um, I feel like it might deserve a small nerf. I just feel like it's so good. But also, kind of, of course, um, it's part of the matter. Fire Spit against Pekka and so on. Doesn't really make too much sense. So I'm just gonna go for my Hoggies there. Can I see what he's gonna do there? He's just gonna use his cage. He's just gonna go for an earthquake there. He goes for his snowball. I think we're still gonna be able to get some damage on the tower. Which of course is pretty nice. Also on the right hand side, the piggy is doing some significant damage. Just gonna go ice split there. And I'm just gonna go lock there to make sure I'm not gonna be able to like he's not gonna be able to get any damage on the tower. So Okay. I guess he plays balloon. So I have to go for a cannon position just like that, because otherwise he can bypass the cannon and gets directly on top of the tower. Um, yeah, exactly. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So, I'm just gonna go for my Evolved Ice Bird there. Should be able to kind of defend this. Hopefully perfect. Yeah, that was a really nice defense. So, he can just go for us. Um, wait, the Lurino, we're kind of waiting until he's playing it. No. Okay, he's gonna play dead, okay. Good cage. Just gonna go Hoggies immediately then. He's gonna go Void Lurino and Snowball, most likely. Yeah. I think we're still gonna be able to get damage. I mean, it's a 5 for 5 trade, so not too bad. Yeah, I have to go for my skeletons. And I guess I'm just gonna go for my ice build with that because he doesn't have a small spell in hand, so he kinda has to see what he's gonna do there. And this might be honestly a bit challenging for him, so I'm just gonna go for my Archer Queen immediately at the bridge and see what's gonna do about this. Just gonna go for this there. I'm immediately getting the Archer Queen on tower. He's gonna be able to get the retarget, which was pretty good from him, but still, we're gonna be able to get some damage on the tower. So I think overall there was a worth it Archer Queen to play and really nice Ice Bird knowing exactly what he had in cycle. And we got so much damage basically just off that. I'm just gonna go for another Royal Hawks there. He's most likely just gonna go for his cage anyway. Okay, that was a really interesting cage placement. <laughs> okay, using my skeletons just like that. Now kinda see what he wants to do there. So let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm just gonna lock there. Okay, cannon. Balloon, Ice Spirit. Okay, should be easy defense, right? Yeah, the cannon still distracts, so I can just go for my Q there. And I feel like this is the perfect scenario, right? He got like some answers against us, some really good answers, but we're doing a perfect job there. And now I got my evil Ice Bird in hand, so evil Ice Bird should actually seal the deal there, hopefully. I'm just gonna go for this there. Cannon just like that, skeletons to make sure to actually kill the mine as quick as we can. Can I pop the ability there? Perfect ability timing, man. What a clean gameplay this was from our side. 2 0 win against a really tough matchup, man. I love this deck, and I feel like this really benefits my play stack, Clash Royale. Next game up here, facing off versus Riley, man. Here's a Clash practice, of course, he's practicing for the World Finals. He should be. Yeah, I think, like. Let's see. I don't want to say anything. I'm just, like, hope that everybody there has a great time, and let's see what actually is gonna happen at the end, but. Next year we'll be back, no worries guys, um, hoping for better format. A bit more carrying from CR side would be also cool, but let's see, also like, I don't know if you guys saw the trade already, the rewards for the watch, like watching the world finds, uh, like the drops are pretty shit. So yeah, I don't know bro, watch Supercell, like, I feel like they're doing currently a good job about the game itself, like the last update was pretty nice, also soon the streak feature, so with the lucky drops and so on, man, I got so much stuff from them already. But I don't know. I know what they're doing with their eSports side of the game. It just feels so, 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 so bad. So this is going to be a really hard matchup, this guy. Riley has, like, so many counters. He has, like, Bomber, Lock, uh, and Minor Poison, which is generally hard to beat since I don't have really too much against Minor Poison in my deck. So let's see. Okay, interesting. Just going to go for this and going to go for my Lock there. I'm gonna go for my evolved skeletons. I don't know if that was the best play on his end, not gonna lie, I think it was a bit too aggressive. For no reason, especially since he stares to defend us, so we he's oh he matched we could have tanked, it would have been so nice. But it's fine I guess. So in this matchup, you normally always have to go like queen opposite lane, so the opponent doesn't get any poison value, and you just need to try to get your free cut cycle on the board. So this is exactly what I'm trying to do there. So I'm just gonna go for my arch queen down the back. 
And then we're just gonna go piggies. And yeah, let's see. So I'm just gonna go piggies there. Three, two, one, EQ now. Okay, EQ's gonna come down. Does a pretty good job there on top of the skeletons at least. Even the cannon was of course well played on his end. So I'm just gonna go for my log there as well. Ice bird skeletons. Okay. He's gonna pop the ability, which he of course can, it's fine for me. Just gonna go for my log there. Great log, we do get some damage, just cause skeletons like this. Yeah, Piggy gets a bit of chip. That's nice. Also gonna go for an extra set of hoggies. Goes in for his bomber, so... You're not gonna be able to get too much damage. Just gonna go for my Archer Queen, they're sniping a the bomber. He has to go now for his... Okay, Ice Bird. I'm just gonna go Log EQ there. Let's see, he's just goes for this. Yeah, pretty obvious. He's gonna do this. I'm just gonna go Skeleton Stay. I'm also gonna go for this. Log EQ. Oh, maybe the Skeletons! Ah, almost. Almost, guys. No way. Just gonna go Hoggies there. EQ. Ah, that's so tough, bro. I'm really trying my hardest, but it's so, so tough, bro. That's fine. Okay, we, he just doesn't get a connection at least. Just go Cannon there. Okay, I'm just gonna go Hoggies. And I'm just gonna go pre-EQ there. Okay, that was a really nice ice bird also he said. Man, what a game this is. Okay, archers. I mean archer queen, not archers. Okay. Just gonna go lock. Go ice bird. Q, lock. Okay, next EQ, next lock. Next EQ, lock. Ice bird. Cannon. There's no way we won this game. GG's well played, beating one of the best players in the entire world, beating one of the biggest YouTubers, and beating a Clash Royale League World finalist in a matchup where I feel like this is not easy. Next game off here versus Nate. So I'm just gonna give him good luck and I'm just gonna go for my log there to start off the game. He decides to go minor. So let's actually see what Nate is gonna do. And this might be one of the rare hard counters, but uh, like one of the biggest, like, I would say like, you guys know, Nate, he plays like log, delivery, night and so on. So this might be like one of the most impossible matchups, but to be fair, to be fair, the thing is like Nate is only using this deck. Like there's nobody else using kind of the cycle deck. So I'm just gonna go for my uh, earthquake there. Maybe he's gonna be playing something. No, he's not. Okay, he goes in for this. I'm just gonna go skeletons like that. It's fine. Um, I'm just gonna go pop the ability. Now I'm just gonna go Royal Delivery there on top of the mine. Also on top of the knight. So I think that was a really, really good um, Royal Delivery there. Really, really nice Royal Delivery, man. Really good placement overall. Um, I might just go for... Royal Hawks there at the bridge. And I'm just gonna go EQ there. So this time he doesn't have everything he needs. So he has to go kind of like go for an Evo Ice Bird. Are we gonna be able to get one shot? Yes, we do get one shot. This is like big. Honestly, this match where he has like so many counts, he also got Rocket right. This is already like really big. Just gonna go cycle my log. Archer Queen once again in the back is always a play. Free card cycle abusing might be our only chance of doing something. Let's see, but you always. Kind of try to add your best to also beat some really difficult matchups. I'm just gonna go for my Ice Bird there. Skulls are coming down like this. I'm just gonna go for my Royal Hawks again. I'm also gonna go EQ once again. Okay, decides to kind of go for this anti-EQ spot, but he messed it up really, really big in my opinion. So he has to go still for an Ice Bird, but my Hoggy might get like one shot, two shots. So unnecessary damage from Nate's side he kind of took there. Okay. I guess that's what he's going to do when he's taking unnecessary damage. <laughs> Just cycling a rocket on my tower, okay. Nice to know, nice to know, brother. Can you to go lock there? I'm just gonna go Royal Hawks. EQ. I'm just gonna go Ice Bird like this. Just gonna go for Skeletons just like that. He has to go now for this. Okay, go. just goes in for this. I'm just gonna go lock there. K. 
chill. I'm just going for this again. Really good play. Are we going to be able to get one piggy on tower? I don't really think we got a piggy, right? I don't really think we got a piggy. Okay. I, I, it feels like I don't really want to use my ice bird on offense, kind of. Okay, I'm just going to go hoggy stay. I'm just going to go log. Free log kind of does his job. Yeah, there's no need for me to go Q because it's just going to defend anyway, just like that. So I guess my savior's play is just going to go Archer Queen first. Then I'm just going to go EQ. And then I have like my ice bird plus skeletons ready for his miner, which is going to come soon. Yeah, or, or maybe not. I'm just gonna go set up skeletons already. I'm just gonna go now for my Royal Ox there. Lock. And I'm just gonna go EQ again. I mean, I have to try to get some... Something on top of him. Okay, I'm just gonna go for my... Royal Hawks there again. Is he gonna be able to get an EQ done? I guess he is gonna be able to get an EQ. I mean, uh, cannon and also this. Oh no, bro. Oh no, bro. Okay. Ice at the bridge. Cannon. It's most likely coming down soon. Yeah, I'm just gonna go lock there again. I'm just gonna go EQ. Evolution Ice Bird might freeze the night, so we do get a shot. No shot almost! Okay, Arch Queen. Ice Bird. Skeletons now. I have to go lock, otherwise it's gonna be game over. Okay, EQ done. Royal Hawks. I think it's over, guys. I think it's over. Yeah, he just needs a rocket, man. I think I tried my actually hardest, man. That's so tough. I still think there was a really nice video. We beat some difficult matchups. Maybe we were a bit unlucky at the end. Ah. Was still overall really nice. Maybe I should have tried to cycle my cues faster. Hope you guys enjoyed my car shell video. Hope you guys don't want to miss any content just like that. The channel that subscribe this critical modern shop. I'm going to be out. Thanks, you guys, for watching. Going to see you guys tomorrow for a new really nice deck.